Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So cover crops and nitrogen fixing plants are nothing new in the garden, but they are for me. And not all nitrogen fixing plants are really created equal. Like there's plants like the clover, but there's also shrubs and trees that all, that all fix nitrogen within the soil, but they don't all do it equally. So a lot of these plants, they'll just produce the nitrogen for themselves to produce their own crop. But clover is actually different because clover will produce nitrogen for also for the plants around them. So that's why I'm so interested in it. But beyond that, it also has so many more benefits than just that alone. For instance, so not only does it shade out the soil, which is obviously what a cover crop would be used for, and of course being a nitrogen fixing plant, it also fixes nitrogen within the soil and for the, so the plants around them as well. But it also has a beautiful flower that pollinators really enjoy. So it's really provides so many benefits. And if you've watched my videos, you know that I like things or plants and trees or whatever that have many benefits to them. If it's just one thing, it's not as interesting to me. You know, I really prefer it to be flowering that the bees really like and also produce the fruit that I can eat. Or it has like this, it fixes nitrogen within the soil, but it also produces a flower that the pollinators really enjoy. And to go even a little bit beyond that, this is uh, called a crimson clover. So it is also has a beautiful flower to it. It's like really crimson blood red. It's really cool. So I find that very interesting as well. So I'm gonna really incorporate this really in any location where I see a benefit. Another cool thing about clover is that they're very easy to grow. You know, they grow from part shade to full sun. And that's actually one of the things that I'm really interested in, in the front garden or the front of the house. There's a, a couple apple trees that I have and these apple trees get full sun. They get blasted by sun. That's fine, but my current cover crop, the strawberry, eh, it almost gets too much sun for them. So I'm hoping that the clover will just help kind of mitigate some, some of that sun and shade them out just a little bit, just to kind of make it easier for the strawberries to handle that particular spot. Just to have them not be blasted by sun so much and have them dry out so fast. So these clovers are gonna help shade the soil, which will prevent evaporation, but they're also going to help shade out the soil for the strawberries as well, holding it onto a little bit more uh, water within the soil and also, of course, feeding them with the nitrogen. But then also, these flowers will then attract pollinators, which will also benefit the strawberries and in turn the apples and any other fruit tree that I plant them under. So there's really many layers of benefits and I think this will really help out a lot. So we ideally you do this right before rain or some type of, especially cloudy weather, but in particular rain, just to help soak the soil so that these guys can germinate. So currently we are getting rain right now and I have already planted some seeds around in different spots where I would like to have these just to make sure that I'm utilizing the rain as best as possible. But I will show you some more spots and some examples of where I've planted them and where I'm gonna plant some more seeds with you. So let's go do that now. So clover being versatile as far as how much sun it gets really going from full sun to partial shade it makes it a very good candidate for this container as it allows it to still do fine despite possibly getting some shade from these strawberries here it should be able to intermingle very well and also still do well despite that so this container along with the other one on the other side do tend to dry out a little bit. They're in full sun, all day sun. So sometimes they do get a little dry. But another great thing about clover is then also that it's once it's established, it's also quite drought tolerant. So again, that's just another perfect reason to put it here. There are gaps, as you can see. I could put more strawberries here, which I might put another strawberry over here. There's a quinault on the other side there, which will get fairly large. That'll take up that whole space. So it's gonna be 
completely filled with strawberries essentially, but it'll have the clover kind of mixed in with it, fixing nitrogen for the clover, shading all the soil that the clover doesn't already shade on its own, and also getting flowers on them, which will attract pollinators to help pollinate all the, the strawberries. As you can see, I'm already getting strawberries on there. I've got bigger ones in other containers, but they are already forming nicely. So it's very nice. I think this will be a really great addition. As far as planting goes, it's really straightforward. You just wanna put them in some moist soil, sprinkle some on, keep the soil moist, let them germinate and they'll do just fine from there. They're not that picky, which is great. Definitely consider planting lots of clover underneath your fruit trees, amidst strawberries, amidst in your lawn if you have it. Any, any environment like that, clover is a wonderful addition. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it useful in some way. I do hope that you incorporate clover into your gardens, landscapes, and wherever you can put it because it really benefits the soil and the pollinators and everything else. And despite, you know, there being a white Dutch clover, which, you know, even though we share a name, there are more than one color out there. So, like me, you can get the crimson blood red clover. It's super, super interesting. Probably get the red clover, which is more of a purple probably get that later on as well just to have more colors so i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one tot de volgende keer do you see him the top of my apple tree little bee taking a break from collecting pollen pretty cool and right below that There's a crab spider enjoying his lunch. Lots of little critters. Very cool.